Now we have contestant number seven, Ni nee Jiang. Hello, Ni. Nee. Hello. Please pick an envelope. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So the question is, being ecologically conscientious, such as recycling, benefits our community, society, and the world. How would you promote this concept to others? Many of you may know or may not know, in the United States, the carbon, carbon dioxide emission has increased 20% since 1990. Therefore, I think it's very important to, to promote this concept. What I will do is I will create three easy steps for people to follow. One is to always use paper bags instead of plastic bags. Two, drive, take the bus if you can. Three is to always recycle your water bottles. Those three easy steps are easy to follow and can make a big difference in our, to our environment. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Ni. Nee. So now we have contestant number eight, Kelly Wong, Wong Tim Tim Siu Jie. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Please good evening, ladies question. and gentlemen. Okay, she picked the first one again. <laughs> Okay, the question is, please share with the audience what your talent performance was and why you chose that particular performance tonight. Okay, well my talent performance was a sing, a song, and a performance from My Fair Ladies, I Could Have Danced All Night. I absolutely love the song, I absolutely love the music and musical and movie because the main character, Eliza, she's a lady in the beginning who was a beggar, who didn't have very much, and in the end of the movie, she transformed into this elegant, well-spoken lady. And I think all of us should always keep striving for better and keep transforming. And so that's why I love that musical, and I love that song, and that's why I performed it tonight. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you, Kelly. So next one, we have contestant number nine, Ting Ting Chen, Chen Ting Ting. Hi, Ting Ting. Thank you. So the question is, hobbies and interests such as variety of sports display in tonight's pageant are important not only for your physical health, but also for your emotional well-being. Do you agree with this statement? Why or why not? Yes, I definitely agree with this statement. As hobbies and interests are very important parts of our lives, I myself has many interests and hobbies. Just look at me right now. I'm standing at Miss Chinatown USA. It started with the interest, and I applied, and now I'm like in front of all these audience. This has given me a great opportunity to present myself in front of so many people and to build up my self-confidence. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ting Ting. So now we have contestant number 10, Ms. Elisa Lu, Lei Jing Xiu Hi, Elisa. Hi, good evening. Your friends are waiting. Oh, maybe let me help you. <laughs> there <we go. laughs> okay. Thank you. So the question is, please share some of your Chinese traditional values your parents have instilled in your growing up as a Chinese American female. Why did you choose these values? Gosh, there's so many great values that my parents have instilled in me. 20 years ago, my parents brought me to America to live the American dream. I knew that that dream for me would involve technology. But unfortunately, I soon found that there were very few females in, in technology and in engineering. But I chose to really challenge myself and challenge the norm. And through my journey, I learned to not be trapped by single-mindedness, to not live in the shadows of other people's thoughts, and most importantly, to not let the noise of other people's voices drown out my own. In my mind, Miss Chinatown USA is more than a beauty queen. 
Miss Chinatown USA is a leader who can inspire others. If chosen as Miss Chinatown USA, I would work to be that leader, a leader to mentor other young women and inspire them to live their American dream. Thank you. Okay, thank, thank you, you, Elisa. So next, we have contestant number 11, Francis Chang. So the question is, if you were the current Miss Chinatown USA and was invited to speak at the Olympic Museum on the evening of February 6, 2008 to celebrate Chinese New Year's Eve, how would you address your audience? First, I would thank the organization for inviting me to come to their celebration. Then I would let them know that I was very honored to be, pre to be present and I would wish everybody a happy new year. Okay, thank you. thank you, Francine. So now we have contestant number 12, Miss Andrea Chen, Chen Yingyu Xiu Jie. Hello, Andrea. Hello. So please pick an envelope. <laughs> thank you. Okay. So the question is, Many parents stress the importance of a solid education for their children. How would you stress academic excellence for your own child? First, I would want um, education encompasses a lot more than just academic subjects. I believe that the best way to incorporate that and to promote a child's education is to let them do lots of different activities, cultural activities, musical activities, go to fairs, learn different languages, different things like that, help them become a better person. Personally, my mother, when I was young, she taught us everything under the subject. One day I wanted to be a movie star, she sent me off to acting class. The next day I wanted to be a singer, can't sing, sent me to singing classes. I danced, I did martial arts, anything I was interested in, she pursued, and she tried to promote and help me, and I really appreciated that. I believe that any child um, needs to learn to be passionate, to fight for their beliefs, to share, to love, to give, and all these different things are built on someone who promotes them, someone that supports them, and that education in general and as a whole is a reflection of the support that they are given. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Andrea. Now, we have contestant number 14, Jenny Wang, Man Ging Jing. Hi, Jenny. Thank you. Okay, so the question is, you were to add something from this pageant to a 3,008 time capsule. What would it be and why? Well, if I was to add something from this pageant to a 3,008 capsule to be opened 100 years later, that's a simple question because I would most definitely add a program. The reason why is flipping over the program, not only do you see the contestants, the 14 beautiful and talented women that are a part of this wonderful pageant, you also able to see the sponsors and also the production staff that worked so hard to put the show together for everyone here tonight and also worked so hard to mentor and advise us through this long journey. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you. Jeannie. Last but not least, we have contestant number 15, Ms. Sherilyn Chung, San Weilan, Xiu Jie. Hi, Sherilyn. Hello. Please we didn't forget you. <laughs> Do you apologize, apologize for that? Eh? It's okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, the question is, you are formally dressed in your qi pao crown and sash, and are on your way to a community event representing the Chinese Chamber of Commerce, when suddenly you notice a wounded puppy limping along the sidewalk, what would you do? 
Well, I would understand that my responsibility as the attendant of a chamber event that I would need to attend, and I would need to attend promptly, so I would be a bit torn. But at the same time, I would call on one of my family members because we are such a tight family. I'm the youngest of five children, so I know that any one of my big sisters or my big brother would help me out in such a situation and that they would understand that I have a responsibility and that I would be able to both attend the event on time as well as tend to the family member puppy. help you out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, great, Sherilyn. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you.